do this? It's to sue my blood. Five, ten. Are you trying to kick me? That's what I paid for these things. We're gonna have a gigantic blow Here, look. I get nervous every time he says, I need to show you the phone. Right, reality check here for a minute. Just wait, the worst is yet to come. Well, just tell me what you tell me. My heart's pounding here, and this is a disaster. To make money in my business, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Buy low, sell high, and keep the goods moving. But I'll buy anything if the price is right. It's all part of the game. I live for the deal. I am the liquidator. In the liquidation business, you are always learning. 2100. Oh, ah, come on. Do you rehearse that? <laughs> Sometimes I'm the teacher. Okay, so did you bring me an apple or no? no. I'll bring you something else. I need you to be good. Other times, I'm the student. What do you think we could get for rental? Between five and six hundred dollars a day for it. Really? But just when I think I've got this whole fing game figured out, this deal will fing rock, I'm telling you. Trust me. Someone new comes along and teaches me something that I didn't know. We got an email from a guy who said he's got some skis that he was trying to liquidate. This is not something I do very often. I saw this deal come up and I couldn't pass it up, so here I am. I'm a little nervous. How's it going? Good, Jeff. Good, Gord. Gord. Nice to meet you. So these are the skis, eh? Yeah. These so are how many pairs you got? I picked 22 pairs up at auction. And you know what? Sporting goods, I'm always looking for sporting goods. You know, we just got a late snowfall, so who the f knows? So you bought these at auction, you want to bring them to me? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a rookie at this. This is my rookie. You're a rookie? Yeah. But you got nothing better to do to go to auction. So uh, being the rookie, I went in there and made a rookie mistake right out of the chute and told them that it was my first time. These ones found a sticker on them on sale. They were $2.69 a piece. Strategy is I own you now, and that's it. No bindings? No bindings. They're undrilled. That's even worse. Jeff reacted to the product a little badly at first because it didn't have bindings. These are brand name. Brand name what? Brand name skates. I've never boots. heard of that. Are you kidding me? I think he wanted boots and poles probably. These are top of the line, top of the line. I thought you'd never done this before. Well, I know skis and I know those are good skis. 22 pairs of skis. Yeah, 22 pairs of skis. I'll give you 265. 750. Oh, what, you picked that out of a hat or what? 300 bucks for everything. I go 600. What'd you pay for them? you after. Truth be told, I paid 85 bucks for the whole lot. You won't tell me. You're gonna lie. Got the receipts right in my pocket. Really? Yeah. Tell you what, I'll make you a fucking deal. Okay. And I'm being deadly serious. I'm gonna show you how to make money from buying. Shit. Okay. Great. Okay. One more offer. 525 bucks for this. Shit. Well, that's very attractive to me. Done. Deal. All right, thanks. Now you can tell me what you paid. Probably 250 bucks. 85. 85 bucks? And you can need my help to make money? What the fuck is this? I thought I was gonna get eaten alive in there, but it worked out great. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna learn from you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe he paid 250, he was doubling up, but man, he made three times his money. You beat me. You feel guilty? You make it 400 and something dollars off me? Really? Do I care what he paid? And you got a book that I could borrow off you? <laughs> Good hell. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I just got liquidated. <laughs> hey, Jeff. How are you? Good, man. Jason Eisner. Jason Eisner? I betcha. What does Eisner mean? Tough and strong and don't miss. Jason Eisner is a guy that I met just over the phone, basically, that he wanted to get involved in a direct liquidation franchise. Everybody phones me, says, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this. You jump on a plane and you come all the way out here. I don't have time to fool around. I want to get this thing going. Over the last year and a half, I've been talking to different people, and not one of them have been able to rub two nickels together and make a $5 bill. But this guy just showed he's got a set of fucking balls. Where I'm from, there is an opportunity, and that's why I want to capitalize on it. The opportunity that I have, there's a 30,000 square foot warehouse that was previously a large retail store. It's right on the main strip. A 30,000 square foot store, I mean, that's a considerable large store. Have you done this before? Not liquidation per se, but I have six different companies and understand business, I understand the risk, but I don't understand failure. Three good things about Jason. He's persistent, he's not afraid to get his hands dirty, and he wants to make things work. I mean, I do think there's some huge opportunity. 
But this business isn't as easy as it let out to be. There's no such thing as a free breakfast. Sometimes you make some really good money, and sometimes you lose some really good money. You don't know what you're going to get in. One day you can have a load of mattresses, next day you can have a load of this. It's how you react and how you can adapt. For example, e-cigarettes. Well, that's the stupidest f***ing thing I've ever heard of, but it works. I tried one myself. I used to be a smoker. I bought too many. I bought 4,000 of these things. I'm selling them, but I'd say to you, okay, give me $3.99, and you take 200 Giving me a lot of things to think about, explaining the business. You got to make sure that you're constantly watching what your competition's doing. Jason's methodical. He's watching because he knows that I'm whack. All sales are final. But I'm not saying people either. But as I'm going like this, he still sees the rhythm. Make sense? Absolutely, 100%. That's a good talent. You just got your passing grade, my friend. So I got a call from this lady who's uh, trying to liquidate some tuxedos. I've got Daniel meeting me out there. I don't even have any business cards. Hi. Hello. My name is Jeff, but it says I'm Daniel Fu, so. Oh, Hi, <laughs> and I'm Daniel Fu. I'm Val. <laughs> the tuxedo industry actually is a great fun thing to do because everybody that rents a tux is doing something fun. Okay, let's go have a look. Okay, come with me. We have 700 jackets and pants for you. 700 jackets and pants? Plus shirts, plus all the accessories. Okay. What we're trying to do is create some more space here. How old are these? Between four and five years old, some less. So would people still use this? Like, is Pardon it? me. Sorry. Jeff's wears an awful lot. So what are the sizes like? You know, he's not a tuxedo man, and that's evident. Would you like me to measure you? Well, I'm dressed up right now. If you say so. I mean, this is the only clothes that I wear. When I die, I told my wife to bury me a set of shorts. So what's your concern? You're looking very perplexed. Well, I've been told that these are all double-breasted. No! Who told you that? Talk to, I think you have a daughter or something like yes, that? Yes, I do. Zoe is my daughter. All right, okay. So... And the double-breasted, it's only the white. All of the black coats that we carry are... So not very many. No. No. Maybe 20. I don't really think they knew enough about tuxedos. Put the fedora okay. on. Oh, oh, look at you, riding cowboy. Look at you. As long as they weren't double-breasted. That was a big issue. These are cool. Yeah. You like those? Because I've got some of those. They're almost brand new. Everybody seems to be making money on this wedding. So if they can do it, why can't I? 200 pairs of shoes, 200 shirts, yep. 200 accessories, and about 700 tuxes. What are you hoping to get? I would like to think that Jeff would give us 6,000. Okay, six grand. We're far away. Well, obviously, I started way too high. I'm in, like, the basement. You're in the basement. <laughs> in his mind, not in mine, we can play this game if you want. Oh, well, whatever, but sure. my bottom line, 4,500 is yeah. as low as I will go. You know what? That's way too much. Would you be mad if I insulted you? No, no. insult me. You're I'll insult frank. you back. 1,000 bucks, I take it all. He went down from six to 1,000 very quickly. That is insulting me. So 1,000 is as high as you're going to go. So I'm looking at this deal on 700 tuxedos. But this lady, she's way out to lunch in her asking place. Just tell me what you're willing to accept. 2,000. OK, I'll give you one offer, and I'll take my chances. You ready? Do I need to hold on to anything? 1,200 bucks. What? I was expecting more. How much is it going to take? 2,000. Make it 1,500. 1500. Call it a day. I feel a little sorry for her. No, done. no, no. It's 2,000. No, I can't do 2,000. No, I don't. 1,700 bucks. Done. 1,850. 1,800. Mm, 1,850. Whatever. Sure. Shake his hand. I thought I was going to get it up a little bit higher, but no, he wasn't going there. Yes, you're strutting. Look at you. He got a lot of good stuff for that amount of money. We're gonna have a huge suit sale. Give me a grad prom suit yeah, sale. Yeah, like when grads are on You're the corner. Remarketing, man. Remarketing, man. I think this deal should turn into 10 grand pretty quick. Hey guys, how are you? I'm Good, Jeff. How are you? Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, uh, possible sale. A possible sale? Yeah. Now we have a car full of pots. <laughs> or shall I say vases and planters? We've got some nice vases for you. All high-temp ceramic, nice designs. How many pieces? About 1,200 pieces. There's about 150 styles, different shapes, Is this the different list? colors. I don't know. It's not the greatest stuff in the world. Well, at first he thought it was a piece of crap. He didn't like it. We also have mirrors. Look at yourself. Oh, Come on. It's kind of a poker face thing, right? No matter how good it is, never tell anybody how good it is. So basically, this is sort of a representation of what you got. Yeah. Yep, that and more. In fact, I was quite impressed. I like this Fleur de Lis stuff. Like, how much did you wholesale this for? The whole thing can wholesale for $25,000. So how much do you want for it again? We're asking for... twelve five. We're asking for twelve five. let's say. And we go from there. $12,500. I buy it, he sells it. <laughs> See? You know, once somebody starts unloading the inventory, it sort of puts them in your pocket. Okay, I'll give you five grand. Five grand? 
Well, what are they going to do? Put it back in the truck? 11.8. 5,800. 5,800? Well, I don't know. You're at 11.8. The lease we will take? 82. Uh, we can okay, come on. Bottom line. I don't want to waste your time. How much do you want for this? Okay, 8,000. 75. How about 82? Uh, how did that happen? You went from 8 to 82. I just changed my mind. So did I. Six. Eight. You know what, at the end of the day, this is a no brainer. I'm going to own this deal. 8,000. 8,000? Yeah. Thank you. This is a good product. Give me Thank that you. book. Woo! It worked out really good for us, and I'm sure for him. Yeah, I like it. Canadian. Canadian. That's yeah. Canadian. That's Canadian. Basically, what I did is I look at this deal, I'm thinking, this is a good deal. Catherine and Louise are getting their check. I called Jason. No, Jason, come on. And I'm going, wait a second. He needs to open up a store. 30,000 square foot store. I mean, that's a considerable large store. He needs product. <laughs> Okay, man, this is a fucking smoking deal. I'm basically trying to teach Jason some of the ropes. You know, show him, like, this is good, this isn't bad. This is a list of all the items that they got. They got over 1,200 pieces. Those vases that came in today were amazing out in our area. Stuff like that's very hard to come by. She says this wholesale was $29. Retail is anywhere for 50 to 60 bucks. But I wanted to see what, exactly what you would pay for it. Write down on this piece of paper what you would pay. You tell me what you're going to pay. Because I'm not going to be there holding his hand every time the deal comes around the corner. Essentially what it was was a test, just to see if my brain is in the game. Good clean work, 10, 20, 30 dollar pieces. Okay. Buying bulk volume like this is new to me. I'm putting out a swag number, sweet wild last guess. That's your offer? So I had Jason, this franchisee wannabe guy, write down an offer on these vases that I had just bought. The whole thing can wholesale for $25,000. $8,000. $8,000? So as soon as he wrote down $11,750, I went, Whoop! That's what you're going to offer me. Oh, wait, wait. This is a trading exercise. Jeff, settle down, boy. Settle down, settle down. This is what I'm going to give it to you for. You're too high. Obviously, he had a chance to make a little bit more money off me, a little bit more gravy. To me, that shows me Jeff's integrity. He's not going to just me over. You happy at 10 grand? Done. It's perfect. Nice stuff. I'm very impressed with how he handled the entire situation. Thanks, pal. Ian! Ian! I'm here. Make some room, okay? For what? I bought uh, 700 tuxedos from a lady out in the valley. All these racks? All these jackets? This is about two months before grad. We're gonna have a gigantic tuxedo suit sale, crazy ass blowout. Here, look. I get nervous every time he says, Ian, I need to show you the phone. Right, reality check here for a minute. How many tuxedos? This moment in time, DL is full. We got them for 1,800 bucks, buddy. I don't care what you got them for. He doesn't have the space. Two 53 footers due this afternoon. Got another 20 foot coming on Monday. And then Cal said that you had already arranged a backload from Calgary to come back with a flip another 53 foot. Those tuxes, Love their money are not coming into this building. Oh, by the way, there are 49 single mattresses coming today, too, by the way. Oh, for <laughs> He'll have a fire sale, all right. I'll set them on fire myself. There's no way you're having a blowout sale of tuxedos in here. Absolutely no way. Okay, Serious okay, time. okay, 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 you made a point. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to try to make some calls and dump these things quick. Hello? Hey, Gene, it's Jeff. How you doing? Good. How are you, Jeff? So I called Gene to meet me at this tuxedo place. Gene. Hi, Jeff. Gene is experienced in the liquidation of anything bridal. There's a few good items in here. There's also a lot of junk. Yeah, you know, beggars can't be choosy, you know? I know, but I'm the beggar. I hope that I could sell these tuxedos to Gene, because I'm telling you, I have no room in my warehouse. So, how did I do? Well, I actually turned this down before, before it was offered to him. I could talk to you. That's not a good sign. What, what, how did I do? Uh, Gene's kind of been like a mentoring guy, you know, through my highs and lows in the liquidation business. You and I have been friends for a long time, and this is a disaster. Gene, quite frankly, tripped me out. He held my hand like this. Just wait. The worst is yet to come. I'm thinking, holy f***, what, what, what's going on here? How bad am I going to do? Real bad. You noticed I held his arm? Yeah, well, you know why. I wanted to make sure he didn't hit me when I came in with my offer. My heart's pounding here, the anticipation. It should be. It is should that be. bad? These are slow movers. Well, just tell me what you tell me. I mean, can you give me two grand for everything? I guess at the right price, there's a market for anything. Seven fifty. And that's for what? Everything? No, that's for the white jackets. Uh, a few of the. Okay, make it eight hundred bucks. Best. Take what you can. 
Gene bought a bunch of white jackets for 800 bucks. So I keep the shoes yeah. and I get to keep them with the pants. I still got 90% of the deal. All right. I'm not happy, but you know what? I just want this nightmare to go away. I only got what? 1100 bucks to go? Randy, it's Jeff. How you doing, man? I'm okay. Now I'm gonna use every sales tactic I got. I got this really smoking deal. I got about 200 pairs of tuxes. I don't want anybody else to see this deal before you get it. So is there any way you can get down here? Yeah, I'll come down and have a look at it. I got the right place here. Been friends with Jeff for 25 years. Okay, listen, let me explain this to you, okay? Yeah. One of my good friends, Gene, who's the biggest liquidator in tuxedos, yeah. I just had him in here 20 minutes ago. He said, you know what, Jeff? This is one of the best tuxedo deals that he's ever seen, seriously. Telling Randy how great of a deal this is. Right now, he's moving stores. So he's got no room. Yeah. I just did a big, huge deal. I got no room. This is awesome. I called you before I called everybody else. Yeah. And I just want to get rid of it. Just, just one you have a look. 200 tops, 200 bottoms, 200 pairs of shoes, plus about 100, 150 shirts. It's a lot of tuxedos. So I'm not looking for a lot of money. I mean, three grand isn't isn't too far out of lunch. I mean, I you know we make each other a little bit of money. I mean, make me a fucking offer. 500 bucks. You know, I've been in the auction business for 30 years and I've never ever sold a tux. Give me two grand. I don't even really want the deal and I don't need the deal. I can't come anywhere near that. Come on, you gotta give me more than that. Just a weird auction item. I paid $1,850 for these tuxedos. So far I got $800 from Gene. That's for the white jackets. All right. I need 1050 to get out of this deal. Well, Jeff gave me a call because he ran out of all other options. <laughs> give me $1,500. 900 You know what? Randy wasn't born yesterday. All right, give me 1000 1000 bucks. 1000 bucks. He ended up giving me 1000 bucks. probably just to help me out. Maybe a mercy buy. Pretty much everything in this rule. Buying these tuxes is a lot like shooting at a target. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. Moral of the story, think before you pull the trigger. Holy f I'm relieved. All right, come on, let's go near. They take credit cards, so we're all right. Come on. I might want to be a liquidator when I grow up. Look at all this. I met Coco and his mom having dinner a couple of weeks ago, and Coco's mom said, my son really likes to buy and sell stuff. Oh, so hey, you made it, eh? How you doing, buddy? Good. Who's that? Grandpa. Hi, Jeff, pleased to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. So you told me you want to learn how to make some money, right? Yep. And I said, you know what? I've got these skis. I picked 22 pairs up. No bindings? No bindings. They're undrilled, that's brand new. Of course. Skate skis, a good brand. This is how much I was selling them for. And I think that's pretty cheap. So what would you do if I sold all these to you? Sell them. You'd sell them? Who would you sell them to? Why don't they have bindings? You're not supposed to know that. This isn't an ordinary eight-year-old. If this is worth 269 bucks without bindings, what would you try to sell that for, do you think? 200 yeah, you might get that. I mean, there's room enough there for him to make money, even if he sells them for 50 bucks. Would you want all of them or just one pair? All of them. You want all of them? Is he going to lend you the money, or do you have money to buy? I don't have money. He's got a good idea, though. This is a highly sophisticated eight-year-old kid who gets the concept. You borrow money on the short term to make a little bit of profit. Are you going to give him an interest? Some of the money. He's figuring this whole thing out. And I'm going to give them to... Children's Hospital. You're going to give some of the money to Children's Hospital? Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't even want to. Oh, I should just give it to you. Well, now you break my heart. I mean, no, 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 no. I feel guilty trying to sell this to you. Did you see that kid? How can you charge a kid? Well, I'm a little bit guilty. No, maybe. Well, okay, a little bit. Let's say we got 20 pair. How's that? We'll, we'll give them okay, all. Okay, yeah. What do you think you'd want to offer me? I don't want to spend very much money. You're killing me. You're killing me. You got a calculator quicker than me. He just felt like grabbing his little cheeks, you know? 500. You can't do this. It's in my blood. 510. 510? Oh, for eight years old, for crying out loud. He could probably help f***ing do Daniel. 600. 550. 550? And it's cash. Oh, do I want to do this? How about 560? 555. 555? Are you trying to kick me? <laughs> That's what I paid for these things. All right, okay, you can have them. I struggled. I mean, the kid's gonna make money. How much are these? Oh, <laughs> that's how you do it. How many do you want? A thousand? Ten thousand? Thank you. <laughs> do you feel bad beating me up? <laughs> no. Oh, I tell you, I get no respect. No matter what I do, I get no respect. We're gonna sell them for a thousand dollars, and you're gonna give the money to where? The children's Hospital. It's a win-win. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. I'm shaking. 
in a blast. I gotta head back home. So I think Jason got a pretty good taste of this liquidation world he's about to get into. Get it, get it, this is a fucking smoking deal. Are you happy at 10 grand? Done, it's perfect, nice yeah. stuff. I never would have imagined that we could get the deals that we do. He says he gets them every day. Awesome. So Jason and I have got to hammer out our deal if he's gonna be our first DL franchisee. This is how I do business on a piece of paper. <laughs> it's blank, is that what you're charging me for everything? That's DL, that's me. That looks more like me. Yeah, I guess we'll put some here, on him. There we go. All right, and then we'll put you here. All right, there's you. Okay, no hair, right? And so the way I see it is like we put two heads together and you know, we can maybe flip some deals left, right and center. I'll supply him between 40 and 60% of his inventory. I'll also charge him a monthly rental of my name. You get the name and you get all our advertising. So we'll make sure you know you'll have an elephant, maybe the odd gorilla. I see nothing but a bright future ahead of us. Put another one here. Then from here, with offshoots to here, you get another store here. I've got Jeff here. We got Jason here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All of a sudden we've got me to you to here and we're connected here and we get stores going all over the place like a family tree. All these guys in the bottom, all the money trickles to the top. I'm sitting by the beach with a pina colada on this phone closing deals. Awesome. Hey, you're a villain. We'll see you later. And that's Training 101 by Jeff. What size do you wear? I'm a 13. Okay, grab a 13. You know how to tie uh, shoes, don't you? He's got a good sense of humor. What's the size of your penis again? Four. Do you have a size four? Um, <laughs> little on the dirty side. Don't have a four. What is a stick you got? I don't know. I just, I really like it. Quite frankly, sometimes I actually question why I bring Daniel. Daniel, oh my God. Do a, do a tap for me, man. Look, he's running around tap dancing like a little ballerina. You told me to tap dance. I did, well. <laughs> Very, very good. Oh. I, I wouldn't quit your day job. Right? You see no. that? No. Snickers, should I pay 500? Huh? Why did you say yes? Why? I wish you'd find me something a little better to buy. It's all yours. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, gee. <laughs> this rabbit's talking to me. You mad at me? I'll kick your ass later. You took it out of the store. It was actually my property. To make money in my business, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Buy low, sell high, and keep the goods moving. But I'll buy anything if the price is right. It's all part of the game. I live for the deal. I am the liquidator. You know that I'm looking for a product. Why would you have called me and said, hey, I got a deal for you to come look at? In the liquidation business. Snickers, should I pay 500, huh? Why did you say yes? Why? I wish you'd find me something a little better to buy. It's all yours. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, gee, this rabbit's talking to me. You mad at me? I'll kick your ass later. You took it out of the store. It was actually my property. To make money in my business, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Buy low, sell high, and keep the goods moving. But I'll buy anything if the price is right. It's all part of the game. I live for the deal. I am the liquidator. You know that I'm looking for a product. Why would you have called me and said, hey, I got a deal for you to come look at? In the liquidation business, you gotta be pretty hard nosed. And you gotta look out for yourself in order to make a buck. And we're supposed to be friends and you backdoored me is what you did. I'm not here to make people feel good. I'm not a charity. Come on, $1,500 is an insult. But there are deals where I give more than I take. Even I have my weaknesses. 60 bucks, take it or leave it. Ah, uh, 70. All right. You just bought breakfast, thank you. I think the liquidator store needs a new mascot. <gasps> But at the end of the day, my job is to get the most for the least. Are you grinding me? Like, Jose, is he grinding me already? Are you grinding set. the grind? Yeah. That's just part of the game. Hey, Daniel. This an email about this woman who's got a bunch of dog accessories for a charity or something. What's dog accessories? I don't know. Harley, what's dog accessories? Like collars and or what? Do you mean toys? Do you mean food? Do you mean, like... Leashes. I have no idea. Tennis balls, frisbees. Who knows what this woman's got to sell? Should we go look at a deal? This will be the first time someone takes a dog to go look at a deal. Hardy, let's go look I at think a deal. Go. You go check it out. Take, let's go, Hardy. Let's go look at a deal. Come on. Oh, let's go look at a deal. Come on, Hardy. Hey, how hey. you doing? I'm Jeff. I'm Helen. I am an entrepreneur, and we donate 10% of all income to an animal rescue. Come on, Hardy. Yeah. What are you doing? This is Snickers. So, what are you selling exactly? I have 770 custom-made doggy jackets. 
What the hell do I know about pet clothing? We have nylon in red and blue and canvas in four different colors. Would I put my dog in clothing? No. The... How does this fit? Come here, Harley. Okay. Are you going to be a good girl? Pop this around. Yeah. Oh, you're the best little model, aren't you? Aren't you cute? Look at you. Harley, do you like your coat? Harley, you like your coat? She looks stupid. Who the f puts her dog in an outfit? How much do you want for it all? Um, we were looking for about $1,400. we are going to take our initial investment, and the rest we're going to split between the charities that we work for. Um, hmm. Yeah. The problem with this stuff is that, um, <laughs> I'm not even that interested in it. You're stupid. The, I shouldn't, should I, did I say that? Um, I'd pay you 500 bucks for a moment. I fell for it, okay? You know what? I fell for it. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor because I don't even really want this stuff. I happen to like uh, dogs and I happen to like people who try to help people. Can't squeak up to about 750? We need people like her, God forbid. We also need people like me too. Snickers, Snickers, should I pay 500, huh? Should I? Snickers is going 750. You're such a good Snickers. I try to squeeze up to 750. Hurry, make your mind up because I'm leaving because I before I change my mind. Okay, we'll do it. It didn't sway him. And Tell me why you said yes. Why did you say yes? Why? <laughs> why did I do it? Because at least the money goes to her charity. She's happy. Ugh. All right, thank Hard you. Hard bargain. Ultimately, I got these coats for a really cheap price. I'm gonna make a big profit. <laughs> We're heading to go see Sheldon down at this uh, grocery store that he seized. The landlord obviously was owed money and rent. You have to act very, very quickly. Hey, Joel. How you doing? Got some produce, got some dry goods. Anything back here? Uh, I've got a till and a scale. What about that microwave? For sale. What about all this? Everything you see, including all those racks for sale. This doesn't look too bad. Yeah. What about those two coolers? Rental. What about this coffee machine? Coffee machine's a rental. What about this cooler? Rental. Is that for sale? No, leased. That one? Leased. Rental. Rental? Pretty sure it's a rental. Leased, leased, leased. I mean, what about this piece of shit? It's all yours. Oh, there's really not much in here. Yep. Uh, I'd say there's virtually no value here. But here's the, here's the kicker. I'm already 1,200 bucks into this deal. This is going to be tough. But I tell you what. If I could help him get out of it, we'll keep the client happy, and we'll get more work in the long term. I need some help on this. O honestly, OK, all right, I'll help you out. I'll take, I'll buy all of this loose shit. So I'll pay you a couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks? What's the What's the number in front of the two zeros? <sighs> Sheldon knows me very well. A couple hundred bucks means like 150, so. You're talking like 150 bucks? I got to get some new tricks. Well, two to 300 bucks for all the round food. Round and round and round. Or a new bailiff, one of the two. Yeah, I'm trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. Like, I, I mean, know. there's no money in it. Done? Yeah, OK. I did a deal with Jeff on the dry goods. I got $300 on that. But I'm still into this for 900 bucks. And then I'll see what if I can sell these three pieces and that microwave and that food warmer to get you some of the cost back. He gets more jobs, I get more work. I get more work, he gets more jobs. Simple. Are you the stock bull? Unstocking, yeah. So the only thing left are these coolers. And Nick, he's the biggest buyer I know in town for this stuff. Right now, he is the only hope I got for making any money on this deal. That two-door cooler is up for sale. This thing's up for sale. This compressor obviously goes with this open face cooler. You can have these shelves if you want them. I trust Nick implicitly. Not the coffee maker, right? No, the coffee maker, no. When he gives me the price, other people might not believe what he's got to say, but this is what the guy does. OK. This here has got to go through that window, and that's going to be 500 bucks just to go through the window. Right? I know, I know. Another problem is this is a water-cooled compressor, not air. Mm -hmm. Water-cooled is not good. Um, I'd have a hard time giving you 400 bucks for this. Okay. I brought him in, told him to come in this deal, and there's no money left. It's too skinny. I wish you'd find me something a little better to buy. All right, thanks. Take care. Nick's reaction was it's a pile of sh Okay, let me go. I gotta figure something out. Well, I try to sell these coolers to Nick. He basically <laughs> crapped them out. I wish you'd find me something a little better to buy. Sheldon's still in this deal for 900 bucks, and I'm into it for 300 bucks. And then it hit me. Okay, listen, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna call up John Cotton from Cotton Auctions. Yep. Just say Jeff was here, he was too busy to deal with it. He took the groceries, 
told me to call you. It says it's a rent distress, got to be sold. Jeff's trying to give me his 101 on, on how to play somebody. You got to tell him nothing, okay? You know what? I know how to play people off. I've been doing it with Jeff for years. I got a kind of a deal and a favor I need. Sure, okay. I've got six tabletop, uh, like, produce tables. I know what to say, the key words to say to get people excited. I've got a uh, single door freezer. You tell them I got a single door glass front cooler freezer that's worth 15 to 1800 bucks. Double door cooler. Two door cooler that's worth between five and seven hundred dollars. 12 foot produce cooler with compressor. Oh, one of those? Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Um... One thing I can tell you, Sheldon isn't a salesman. I am. What I need to get out of this in order to get out is two grand. I'm kind of going, you're doing this all wrong, brother. What, what do I got to do to sell you on this? I was like, I was biting my tongue. Um, I don't know if I can sell big coolers like that, right? It takes up so much floor space. But I couldn't take it anymore. I had to get the phone. I overstepped my boundary. I, I tried not to. I'm going to go over the deal with you, okay? What pissed me off is I played it up that Jeff's not there. Next thing you know, Jeff whips the phone out of my hand, takes off outside, and he's talking to Cotton. All right. Okay. Sell them the bill if I'm a salesman. This is what I do. For 1500 bucks, I would buy this stuff. I have no, I have nowhere to put it. You will get your money out of it. Um, yeah, I'll take care of it. Um, put Sheldon on the phone so we can arrange him, and I'll have my truck down there. I bullied John into buying it for $1,500. I told him he's got to buy it. Hey, John. Hey, Sheldon. You have to text me the address, and I'll send him right down there. I'll sell all the dry goods for a small profit. Sheldon's in the black. Done deal. But you know what? Sheldon owes me one. Hey, Daniel. Hey, man, on, what's Harley? going on? Come on? Oh, Harley's got a new jacket. I go to this lady's apartment and I bought 770 dog coats. And Tell me paint. why you said yes. Why did you say yes? What was I thinking? Harley, come here. Come here. Look. Dude, are you serious, man? This is a deal where I fucking want to bring and put in my office and not tell anybody that I bought. This is like Little Red Riding Hood, man. Why the f did I buy this? How many? 770. Are you kidding me? This is not a very serious deal, man. What, what's, what do you mean it's not a very serious deal? Look at Harley, Harley looks good. 700 dog coats. Welcome to Direct Liquidation. We're pet friendly. Harley. Harley. See? OK, oh, how man. much do you think we should sell these for? I don't know, dude. Let's go $7.99, two for 10. Take That's some fine. pictures, put it on All Facebook. Right. Hey, Jeff. Hey, how, how are you doing? I'm oh, good. My friend Gloria is kind of the type of dog owner that, well, she'd like this crap. So what did I do? I told her to come down. Yes, this is the stuff I was telling you about. I need a couple of good raincoats, and um, I'm hoping it's not tuxedos and skirts and stupid stuff. Oh, my God, Angus. Come here, sweetie pie. Oh, it's adorable. My little schnauzer looks like some sort of, you know, Scottish detective. Highland detective. What the heck is Here, this? Look, oh, oh, wow. That's, that's look at this one. This is for the winter. <gasps> yes. Put that on Benny. Oh, wow. Really, really nice, cute. hey? I like that one. This is a Soho-inspired <laughs> look for this season. Oh. Adorable. Spring, summer 2014. And Angus okay. carrying his. They look like idiots. Seven nine nine. Two for ten. Only a woman could get away with walking down the road with her dog. Wearing a fucking coat. What are you going right. to give me if I take a few? Seven ninety nine, two for ten. Uh, I, can't, can't, I can't go any on, better than on. that. At least give me three for ten. Okay, I'll give you three for ten. <laughs> Could squeeze you for four. Gloria ground the living bejesus out of me. I should have just given it to her and given her ten bucks. The friend her daughter would just leave. Three, three for ten. Daniel, exactly. run her in. Run her through. Both agree okay. is adorable. Look at that. <laughs> All I got to do is sell seven hundred and sixty-seven more. <laughs> We're here today to uh, look at some clothing that somebody had donated to this rabbit sanctuary. I'm Jeff, this is Jason. <laughs> Jason's my first DL franchisee. Jason Ashton. Everybody phones me, says, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this. You jump on a plane and you come all the way out here. I don't have time to fool around, I want to get this thing going. And as part of the deal, I actually got to help them find product for a store. They got over 1,200 pieces. You happy at 10 grand? Done, it's perfect, nice yeah. stuff. Done. So I brought him along in this deal just to see if there's something here for him. And there you go, Jeff. Rabbitats is Rabbit Rescue Housing and Management. Rabbits need help, and we're here to help them. There you go, sweet girl. My favorite kind of bunnies you see usually find in a centerfold. <laughs> <sighs> OK, so what are we looking at? Ah, oh, we're looking at the clothes here, donated by a volunteer. How many pieces are there? 210. We really wanted to just hand off this inventory of clothes to someone else and yet still benefit the rabbits to the best of our ability. 
Mr. Size. How much? When we added up all the tags, it was uh, 21,800, something like that. I don't know where we're gonna end up. As long as we're in the four figures, we're in the right range. And of course, it's all to raise money to look after all these bunnies. You yep. had to throw that in, did you? Yeah, yeah, appealing to your better nature, and who can resist those adorable faces, you know? Oh, uh, damn it. I was trying to forget about those things. 800 bucks. Um, I was r really hoping that it would be, uh, you know, at least in the uh, fours, right? I do have a little bit of a secret weapon here. Come on, sweetheart. Uh, don't let your emotions get to you. Got it. Give it a rise. Oh, God. These are just rabbits, okay? Just rabbits. Ah. Yeah, come and say hi to Jeff. I'm at this rabbit sanctuary looking at this clothing deal with my business associate, Jason. 800 bucks. And this woman, she's squeezing every last dollar out of me. There you go. Look at these bunnies. Think of fur coats. Jeff, Jeff. Don't break. Please help the bunnies. Oh, God. Don't fold. Look at this. Look at this. There's a baby over there. Don't let it get to you. OK, fine. I'll give you 1,200 bucks. I don't even want to give you 1,200 bucks. It's not worth it. It's worth 500. I'll just do it because the, the money's going to your rabbit thing. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this rabbit's talking to me. Jason? Have you? It's <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts. I, I, I had a feeling I'd be able to appeal to yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Give it to the bunnies? Whatever, man. But my buddy, Jason, he needs stuff like this for a store. I am feeling pretty generous today. I'll tell you what you can do. Just give me a, a 1650 and I'm, I'm good. 14. Well, for that, I might as well donate it. That's not enough. You know, that's insulting. They volunteer their time. 1500. I guilted them into it. Fifteen. Done. I have ended up buying this for twelve hundred. I sold it them for fifteen hundred. <laughs> okay, no more signs, no more women, no more rabbits. I'm getting the f out of here. In essence, I pulled a rabbit out of a hat. More like out of my ass. I bought seven hundred and seventy dog coats, and I've only sold three. Can you imagine having seven hundred and sixty more glorias coming in? At least give me three for ten. And the next thing you know, it was like, bing, 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 bingo, Thomas has a f***ing pet store. We sell puppies and kittens and fish like a real pet store should, and fashion has become really important. How are you? Okay, great. It's good seeing you. I didn't even know dogs wear clothes, to be quite oh, frank. Oh, yeah, they do. There's so. they're really high fashion. There's some places that sell them for like 100 bucks a piece. Really? I'd sell you the whole pile for 1200 The quality is OK. It's not super high-end stuff. There's not a lot of uh, funky things, which are what I was worried about. This is a Soho-inspired look. <laughs> 700 pieces, I could get easy $4.99 if I tried harder. Yeah. I was going to go $9.99, maybe 3 for 20 or something like that. Okay. There was a, a little 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 technique that I did but then I thought if, if you're interested uh, you know what give me 1500 bucks well yeah it keeps me out of 1500 bucks you tried to jack the price up a little bit there's the fish 15 but I caught him on that there's the bite it's a really good deal at 1200 sorry what would you say 1200 uh -huh. yeah you're right that's right that's what I said 1200 why not oh okay great he fell right into it they're all yours. <laughs> Good deal. Are you happy? I'm very happy. He didn't offer me eight. He didn't offer me a thousand. He offered me twelve. Cool. All right, man. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Take care. I made seven hundred bucks. I'm happy, and uh, he's probably gonna sell them for twenty bucks a piece. And you know what? He's gonna make himself a load of money. Right. Yep. Yep. No, I know it's uh, bloody ridiculous. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm looking for Jeff Schwartz. Uh, you got him. John Cogman from Transco Distribution. We supply all the corner stores and all the grocery stores with freezers on loan. I heard you were down in market recently and you bought out the, the whole store, the equipment and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's right. You did? I helped Sheldon out by liquidating some coolers and freezers to this auctioneer I know by the name of John Cott. Put Sheldon on the phone so we can arrange him and I'll have my truck down there. Sheldon was into this deal for 1200 Cotton gives him 15. I give him three. I'm trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. Right now, Sheldon's up 600 bucks. He made some money. Looking for a freezer that was inside there, and they told me that uh, that you took it out of the store. 
the freezer is actually my property. Unfortunately, I sold your freezer. What? I sold your freezer. You're kidding me. Sheldon. So I helped Sheldon liquidate a produce market. Not two door coolers up for sale. And I sold this freezer. Well, I guess this freezer wasn't really for sale. You took it out of the store, and the freezer is actually my property. This is a contract between me and, and, the, and the market that the freezer's on loan. They've got my freezer. I want my freezer back. I went down to pick up the freezer, brought my guys down with a truck, and lo and behold, there's nothing in the store, no freezers. There was no branding, no signage, so I sold this deal to John Cotton. The bottom line, is this good enough? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go phone Cotton. Right. This has been one of those jobs where everything we thought there was value, it's it's been leased, it's gone, and this is just one more for the books. How are you doing there? I'm calling you on uh, on a glass face freezer that I sold you. I'm watching Sheldon lose the small profit that he made in a deal. A deal which, by the way, I practically made nothing on. I need you to pull that one out of the auction and set it aside. Really? I don't want to sound like a or anything like that, but uh, actually, what do you want for that freezer? Do you give me uh, 300 bucks and a good deal or something in here, right? And, uh, they've got a contract in hand, and uh, I've got to get it back to them. So, why don't I give you 200 bucks and something? A good deal. Okay, look, I'm not gonna. I'm Irish, okay? So let's split it in half. Well, you're not Scottish. 250. I'm not Scottish. I'm Irish. We split it in half. 250. All week, I have been giving back to all these different causes, and you know what? It's time for me to pick my best charity. <laughs> me. Hold on. One all second. right, we'll work away. Work away. One of those jobs I just keep bending over, touching my toes, and getting screwed. Is it a god? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, listen, I don't know if you heard yet, but uh, Sheldon, that, you, that whole load that you got, that freezer's got to go back to the company, eh? Yeah, so, you just told me I had it sold, too. Give me six fifty for that freezer and you can have it. Well, you know what? I'll give you six because I got it sold already. Give me six fifty, John. I need six fifty. Need six fifty? Okay, I can do that. No problem. Done deal. deal. Bye. So, so uh, what did you do with Cotton? I just called uh, the auction house. They pulled it. They already had it sold. Okay. Make arrangements. You can pick it up from them direct. So do me a favor. Just leave it there. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. I bought it. I bought it off of my phone, Cotton. Sorry. What do you mean you bought it off him? They offered me cash for it, so. That's fine. You're, you're splitting it with me. No, 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 no. At least I can make some money on this pile. <laughs> you. Well, I only sold the cotton for 300 bucks, so I made 50 bucks. Bullshit. I know anything you sell, I might as well add double to it. So you sold it probably for at least 600. No, no, I didn't. I wouldn't do that to you. I can tell by the look on uh, your no. face. You got a grin on your face. All right. Okay. Sorry, Sheldon. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Hey, 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 wait before you leave. Oh. Oh, look at that, eh? My cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. That's good. I made a good deal. Seriously. The other day, the only good thing about this deal is I came out of there making money. The second thing that was most important is Sheldon didn't make any money and he went backwards. <laughs> cool. It looks like a little red riding hood. Do you have anything with a motorcycle on it? <laughs> I did something with a cow the other day. I don't want to know. Oh, that came out very wrong. <laughs> Daniel, f off. I'm not putting it on. Well, dude, it's like little red riding hood, man. It's for my dog. I know, but it actually looks okay. Will you get that baby away from me? This, this isn't fair. Where's Harley? Edible salad. Very cute. Looks good on you. I think Jeff maybe turned to putty a little bit. He's bigger than my dog. Jason, rule number one, never go to a rabbit sanctuary. Noted. What do I care about rabbits? Now I actually like rabbits, especially I like this rabbit. <laughs>